Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. What is it like here in America? Mm. Fabulous. like you know every few years there's some new Japanese food that's being introduced to LA to really make the culture of not only Japanese food but cuisine in general really great in the city and one of them that I'm going to right now which I'm excited to be able to try is the okonomiyaki and if in case you guys don't know what that is that's kind of like Japanese pancake that's cooked like tepon style which is really popular in Osaka and Hiroshima and this place that I'm going to right now called Chinchikurin specializes in Hiroshima style uh, okonomiyaki and there's apparently a difference between the two and um, you know this is like the first time that I think I've tried it in the US I've tried it one time when I was in Japan in Osaka so obviously I had the Osaka style but today here in little Tokyo I'm gonna be eating the Hiroshima style okonomiyaki, which would be the first ever okonomiyaki experience that I have here in LA. So please, if you enjoy this channel, subscribe to Rockstar Eater and be sure to stay all the way to the end in order to see this pretty amazing food that I'm about to show you guys. They're gonna show us how to make the okonomiyaki here because it's a very different process from the way that they make it in the Osaka style. But I'm gonna show you um, exactly how they make it on this grill that's right over here. So it's almost kind of like a, like a teppan grill, almost like a Benihana type of grill, but a lot bigger where they make okonomiyaki. So that's the first layer of the batter, right? Wow, it kind of looks like an Indian dosa. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, it just like goes up. That is so interesting. Yikes. Hiroshima Okonomiyaki, as you can see, there are 11 layers that are cooked into this like pancake, which makes it so, um, has a lot of variety, I would say. So there's gonna be a lot of flavors going on in this. Wow, this menu looks so interesting. So as you can see, they have different uh, selections, everything from the Chinchikurin Yaki, which I think is the recommended one and a loaded kaisen which has their seafood on top of it you know what i'm gonna do today maybe since i'm in the seafood mood i'm gonna go with the light loaded kaisen wow loaded that's a major foodie item right there it's like a table but it has like a grill that's in the center of it like a tepon grill and then they put the okonomiyaki in the center of it in order to keep it warm so you're not grilling anything here it's not like in Osaka where they kind of put everything together and you just kind of like mix it and cook it. So everything is already cooked here by the chefs because they're, it's a more difficult process to make the Hiroshima style. But then after it's done, they bring it here so that, you know, you can keep warm and then you can eat right off the grill. So this is the Otafuku sauce, which is the Okonomiyaki sauce. They already put some on there, but if you want more, then they leave it here so you can just kind of put as much as you want. 
and this uh, Cupid, uh, Cupid Mayo, which is like Japanese style mayonnaise that's supposed to have a nice, healthier taste from what they told me. You see these spatulas? These are supposed to be used to like break the okonomiyaki, but then you use these to eat it as well. So this is kind of like your fork or your spoon. This is something new to me that I've never had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking this thing. I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> Let me see what it tastes like without the sauces first. Just so I can uh, get an idea of if I need to put any sauce in there. Mmm. Of course, the noodle is soft, but then you taste the crispiness of the uh, of when it was cooked up there. So it's crispy noodles. The squid tastes pretty awesome. Like I said, this is the first time that I'm having uh, the okonomiyaki from the Hiroshima, like the Hiroshima style. So I can't really recall whatsoever because it was so long ago, like 15 years ago when I had the Osaka one. But I knew the Osaka one tastes different because I think it had more like, like a battery type of a texture. And um, so this one is more like I think you can really taste more of like the noodles along with, you know, a little bit of that egg. And uh, so yeah, this is a little bit different than what I remember like 15 years ago in Japan. I'm gonna take some of this. And I'm gonna put some of that magic mayo on top of it. Woo! <laughs> ah, that looks nice. It's like a stringing mayo texture all around. Okay, why not? Maybe I'll also take some more otafuku sauce and to make it a little bit sweeter all around. All right, drizzle it on just like that. Mm. Oh, that totally changes the flavor. Now it's like sweeter, has more mayo, so more of that like creaminess mayo texture. Mmm. Yeah, I think I definitely like the extra sauce on it better. <laughs> Wow, I'm so curious to see how hot this grill is. I know it's not gonna be as hot as like a Benihana grill, but let me just touch it really quickly. Oh yeah, it is kind of hot. <laughs> Better not play around with this. Yeah, these noodles, you gotta really be careful because they break apart so easily. But you know, what does it matter? It's all gonna go into your stomach anyways, right? Mm-hmm. It's good, very good. And I like the fact that it just keeps hot. That's what makes it taste great, is that it just keeps hot. Because of this grill they have right in the center of here. And this spatula, it's so cool because it's small enough it can actually go into your entire mouth. You see, watch. <laughs> I had to really run out of there, the parking lot, before the two hour limit was up because I, you know, the validation's only two hours, so I just was so quick to get out of there. So I wanted to give a little recap of my thoughts. The food, like I said, was pretty awesome. A lot of carbs, but thankfully mixed in with a lot of veggies and um, a lot of uh, the seafood as well. So overall, it was a rocking experience. So if you're ever in the LA area, then check out this Chinchikorin, this awesome Hiroshima uh, Okonomiyaki. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you've enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. And comment on the section below if you know of possibly any other great Okonomiyaki places in the U.S. and even in L.A. that we should all try. And then finally, please subscribe to Rockstar Eater. Best way to follow. Just hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and you'll be getting these episodes on a weekly basis. Well, that does it for this edition of Rockstar Eater. And I hope you have some of this rockin' Okonomiyaki someday soon.